Remember this guy, Donald Berwick? No, I don't, Mark. All right, let me remind you. This is a guy who's on record, in fact, on a recording, thanks to the Heartland Institute, talking about the need to ration health care, how the American health care system is a disaster. I'm paraphrasing, of course. And uh, how the British system, the single-payer system, is far superior, and that America needs to adopt that, and on and on and on. Well, he got a recess appointment by Obama because he couldn't get confirmed in the Senate. He's in charge of Medicare and Medicaid today. Mr. I hate private insurance. Mr. I want a single-payer plan. Mr. The British system is the best system. Well, tonight as I speak, as a winter storm hangs over Washington, D.C., Obama thought he'd slip one by us, but he didn't. Tonight, just now, Obama renominated Dr. Don Berwick to head the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services. According to Politico, Senator Orrin Hatch said a day after the president committed to coming together to move our country forward, he's chosen to renominate one of the most contentious nominees to head an agency that impacts the lives of more than 100 million people. He will be in charge of implementing the $2.6 trillion Obamacare bill with his views of rationing end-of-life decisions. In other words, his radical, sicko views. So, all this talk of, oh, he sounds like Reagan. He's JFK. No, he sounds like Obama. Plagiarism aside, superficiality aside. So tonight, he renominates one of the biggest whack jobs among a gaggle of whack jobs over there at the, in the administration, to permanently head or head for the, the extent of his administration, Medicare and Medicaid, Donald Berwick. In our archives at the Heartland Institute, was able to secure... Here, here's an example of the man Obama nominated literally minutes ago uh, back to head uh, the Center for Medicare and uh, Medicaid Services. Go. You could have had a monstrous insurance industry of claims and rules and paper pushing instead of using your tax base to provide a single route of finance. You could have protected the wealthy and the well instead of recognizing that sick people tend to be poorer and that poor people tend to be sicker. And that any health care funding plan that is just, equitable, civilized, and humane must, must redistribute wealth from the richer among us to the poorer and the less fortunate. Excellent health care is, by definition, redistributional. Oh. Oh, I remember this gentleman, this civil gentleman. So I see, this is what I've been saying all along, this whole Obamacare thing, it's not about health, ladies and gentlemen. It's about redistributing wealth. That's what we're dealing with. Everything this administration does. Everyone in this administration has to meet a litmus test that they support the uh, turning of this civil society on its head and replacing it with a massive bureaucratic state. The man who's in charge of Medicare and Medicaid who was just nominated minutes ago by the President of the United States for a full term believes that the purpose of health care is redistribution of wealth. Don't tell me this guy has uh, moved to the center. Don't tell me he's moderated. Obama's got his foot on that gas pedal, and he's not going to let up, not for anyone or anything. His car, to use his analogy, doesn't even have a brake. It's 150 miles, full speed ahead, right off the cliff. Donald Berwick, another one. And he said more than that. But from his own lips, Obama's trying, of all the people he could choose to run Obamacare, And Medicare and Medicaid, those words appeal to Obama. That's why he's nominated him tonight.